This is the Stalget, which is said to be the most long or the longest shopping road in all of Europe. I don't know that that's the case. It's certainly more dense than it was before and affordable food is not so easy to find now. The places that I used to frequent that were affordable are gone or they've had to push the prices up about 25% but over a period of it was five years since I was here last that's not bad it's still I'm sure wages have not compensatingly kept up with that but it's something I think there's an interesting square here so I'm going to detour just a moment to give you a nice view it's much more consumer oriented right now than it was when I lived here before. Uh, perhaps this isn't the one. There's horses not too far away for sure. Oh Lord, and can I ever smell it? square is not accessible from here at least not in a timely manner I'll take you to I think it's called Gamel Toll but I'll see if I can put that in the sidebar details later just enjoy the ambience right now friend who used to work there. Even a dressed up bagel will cost you about five dollars here. I'm, I tend to be, as you've noticed, very price focused because I think it really shapes the choices we make. As long as you're earning something high enough to pay for it, it doesn't really matter. And in a social state like this, that's somewhat true. But the problem is, if you somehow wind up working with zero, then that can, that's a serious problem. Oh, this is Bolton down the way, which is where Parliament is. And happily, Cafe Norden still stands here. That was the first place I ate here. And the Strolget continues down that way. This is headed toward some of the old Collegium locations where students live. I'm really craving more bread, but even that's quite outrageous. So each of these pieces are three dollars. And for the mini loaf of bread, it's about eight inches long, it's eight dollars. So you really don't have a lot of room to work with things here. Each unit is upwards of three dollars. And I think that's really unfortunate. So even if you can afford things, just knowing how much it costs, you're it, it makes you have to be more inhibited with each transaction you make. 
and I think that's really bad. I think even I, I would be happier to take lower wages in exchange for lower prices at the same time, honestly. However, if you can reduce your consumption dramatically and live here, then you can travel to other countries and your money goes quite far. And that's just a little bit of the atmosphere around here. This is Kummergeld, Kummergeld. Uh, perhaps I can take you to another place where I had classes, if I will recognize it when I see it. All of this stuff was not, there were shops here, but not to this extent when I was here before. I noticed, I noticed more consumer behavior coming about when I came to visit as opposed to living here. I think I, I walked past, I don't know where the classes were just now, but anyway, I noticed people starting to collect more stuff than they previously had, and that was quite unfortunate. I think this might be the oldest post office in Copenhagen, and though it's 19th century, like all of the most good stuff is here, it's... Um, it's it, it has Art Deco influences. You can see, like here, your basic hot dog is four dollars. Crazy, really crazy. This wasn't here. Is that where the classes were? I don't know. This sunset place was their equivalent of subway port. No, was this, was this it? I think it was. No, it wasn't. I don't, I have no idea where this class was. I'm okay, no, I'm okay. 